Hello, my name is Alexey Yegorov. The structure of neurons has a major impact on the integration of synaptic inputs. We analyzed hippocampal pyramidal neurons and found that in many cases the axon originates from a basal dendrite, but not from the soma. This morphological feature causes a major asymmetry in dendritic signal integration. Hello, my name is Christian Thome and I am a PhD student here at the Institute of Physiology and Pathophysiology in Heidelberg. We wanted to investigate the origin of axons in CA1 pyramidal cells. For this, we used genetically encoded dyes to visualize individual cells and markers of the axon initial segment to localize the axon. To our surprise, we found many cells which showed the dendritic origin of the axons throughout the hippocampus. Half of all cells in the CA1 area showed this morphology, but also many cells in CA3 and the subiculum. The highest density of these cells was found in the central portion of CA1, but there was also a preference towards the more superficial layer of this region. We performed such stainings in different strains of mice and also in rats. In all cases, we found a similarly high prevalence of cells with axon-carrying dendrites. We therefore concluded that the dendritic origin of axons is not only very frequent in these animals, but is phylogenetically conserved in the hippocampus, indicating its functional relevance. Hello, my name is Dr. Tony Kelly. I am a postdoctoral fellow with Professor Heinz Beck in Bonn and interested in how dendrites process information. When Christian first presented this interesting finding of a dendritic axon location, we were all very excited about how this dendrite, this connected dendrite, would process synaptic input and generate output. Using multi-photon glutamate on caging, we can stimulate individual synapses from identified dendrites with and without a connected axon. We can also stimulate multiple synapses together and compare this measured compound EPSP with the EPSPs calculated by simply adding up the individual responses. In both types of dendrites, increasing the number of activated synapses increased EPSP, and at least initially this was linear. However, greater stimulation generated superlinear dendritic spikes. The axon carrying dendrites are then intrinsically more excitable, more capable of generating superlinear dendritic output, that is, more and stronger dendritic spikes. These dendritic spikes in turn generate action potentials with shorter latencies. We also wanted to find out if this atypical axon location affects action potential generation. To do this, we compared action potentials triggered by simple somatic current injection to action potentials elicited by glutamate on caging on dendrites. Stimulation of regular dendrites generated action potentials with thresholds similar to somatic current injection. However, stimulating axon-carrying dendrites generated APs with hyperpolarized thresholds. The difference in action potential threshold is then a functional correlate of this axodendritic structure we observe in a majority of CA1 pyramidal neurons. We wanted to evaluate the biophysical processes caused by the dendritic axon origin. So we performed computer simulations of neurons showing that anatomy. Our model demonstrates that the observed negative shift in action potential threshold directly results from the morphology. Surprisingly, the high prevalence of dendritic spikes was not predicted by the model. So we concluded that axon-carrying dendrites should be different in their intrinsic properties as well. Finally, we evaluated the input efficiency of both types of dendrites. Axon-carrying branches needed generally less synaptic input to trigger action potentials than regular dendrites. Furthermore, we model the effect of parasomatic inhibition as it occurs during more physiological network states. Whereas dendritic input efficiency was generally reduced, we found that axon-carrying dendrites are able to maintain their strong impact on output generation. So we now believe 
that the asymmetry in signal integration between dendrites with and without the axon might be even more pronounced during in vivo network conditions. In summary, we investigated structural feature of hippocampal pyramidal neurons and its functional significance. The dendritic origin of axons profoundly affects synaptic integration, complementing and extending traditional views of input-output processing in neurons.